Procreate or Mofolio Trace, which is the better app for sketching and designing on the iPad. Today, I'm gonna to try to address this by giving you my personal experience and opinion. So hopefully by the end of this video, you can decide which is the better fit for yourself. Just FYI, I actually use both in my everyday workflow and you'll find out why after watching this. So first, I wanna highlight some differences between the two app besides the obvious fact that they have very different interface and UI experience. They also cost differently as well. Procreate is the cheaper of the two and costs $10 for a lifetime license, which means you buy it once and you own it forever, which is a really good deal. On the other hand, Mofolio Trace is an app designed specifically for architects and interior designers. And their business model is a subscription based one, which will run you about $20 a year and it will renew unless you cancel. Now, there are other price options for Mofolio Trace, but I think the $20 option is the most suitable one for architects and interior designers. There are also other players in the drawing platform like Concept, Autodesk Sketch, and Photoshop, which all have their own interface and unique selling features. So there may be a reason for you to use them as opposed to Mofolio Trace or Procreate, but that's not the point of this video. For myself, I found these two apps satisfy 100% of my needs, so there's really no incentive for me to explore other options. Now, this leads me to my next question. How do I use Mofolio Trace and Procreate in my own life? To talk about this, I wanna highlight three areas. Number one is illustration. Being an architecture illustrator myself, I have migrated my hand drawing process from paper to completely on the iPad. And you'll see that this is also what I teach on my YouTube channel. And this aspect alone has completely transformed my own workflow and has allowed me to work much faster and more efficiently on the iPad. Number two, what I use my iPad for is my everyday architectural and interior design. Nowadays, I don't even need to carry my notebook, my trace paper, my pens and pencils and scale with me. All I need is my iPad and I can take that with me anywhere I go and I can just be as productive without needing access to a computer, scanner or a printer. And lastly is doing construction site visits. When I go to construction site, it's important for me to read, annotate and redline drawings during a walkthrough. And previously, I would need to print my entire drawing set at a half a scale and redline on there. But now all I need to do is to preload my drawings ahead of time so I can re-annotate and redline directly on the iPad and doing it without a internet connection. Now, both Procreate and Mofolio Trace does share many similarities with features that are critical for architects and interior designers, like working with layers, the ability to turn up or turn down the opacity off a layer to use it like a trace paper, the ability to change colors and brush size, and the flexibility to edit, revise, and share with others very quickly. And because this is not a side-by-side -side comparison, but I do want to highlight some key differences that each app really excels at and is also deficient in. I'm gonna start with the strength of Mofolio Trace. I think one of the most valuable arguably the best feature in this app more than any other drawing app is their super skill feature. And let me demonstrate below. I already have a PDF loaded in from a as built service. And this is the floor plan of a existing house. And I just want to quickly show you how the scale feature works in here. So like Bluebeam, you have to first calibrate the drawing to know what scale this drawing is in. And this is very similar to do in Mofolio Trace. The first thing you wanna do is hit this little wrench icon here. You wanna set the scale. And setting the scale is really just picking out two points. So I'm gonna pick out the end of this dimension line and I am going to pick the end of this other dimension line because I know the distance between that from my Aspo drawing as indicated in here, that is 11 foot and two inches. So I'm gonna type in 11 and two inches. And this is essentially going to calibrate your drawing 
with those two distances. So when I click this check mark right now, and I'm going to enable my ruler, and this ruler essentially is the scale feature. So if I count from zero to the end of this wall, I should have 11 and you can see 11 is right there and two inches about two inches just a little bit north of 11 so this essentially is calibrated to a scale and i can use this ruler to do any other sort of design work if i need to so in a way this feature is almost identical with Bluebeam. Now in the recent rollout with Morfolio Trace, there is actually an even better tool for drawing in scale. And that's also in the project setting where instead of um, turning on your ruler, what you can also do is you can impose a grid. And what this grid will do is each grid can be set to a distance. And this can be done actually manually in the set grid option. So in here, what I've already indicated is here that I want each of the grid to be one foot in length. So I'm gonna type one and zero for inches. So what this is gonna do is this is going to calibrate a grid with each little square to be one foot in length. So if I count about 11 squares from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. These are gonna be exactly 11 squares to be 11 foot and a little bit of the two inches. So if you are drawing furniture, you can easily count, you know, three squares to be three foot for a sofa or a bed or anything that can easily be, be done by counting the number of squares as opposed to pulling out your ruler and measuring every single time. And this feature wasn't there before. And uh, when they recently implemented this, it's just been incredible to, to use this as a way to gauge distance and space and draw for furniture and other things. Now, another tool that is only available inside Morfolio Trace, as far as I know, is the area calculation. And this is a really useful tool. So let's say if I wanted to quickly understand how big this interior space that I'm tracing out with my red pencil is, I can quickly do that by first forming a enclosed loop. And I can go to my area calculation feature, which will bring up this pinpoint. And this is going to automatically detect the border of this loop. And it's going to tell me that this shaded area is 268 square feet. And I can either shade that in or I can use their automatic text tool to give that a area right in there. So you can see this is very easy to do within the app. Whereas if you were drawing on um, pen and pencil with a trace paper, that would be almost impossible to do, especially with a geometry that's a little bit more complicated than this. And in that case, you will usually bring that into AutoCAD or do it in Revit with a more sophisticated automated tool to get that area. But you can do this very quickly just on trace. And I've used this feature many times and it's been incredibly responsive and quick to do. Given this app is specifically designed for architects and interior designers, they really hit the nail on its head in this department. Whereas in other apps, there may be some workaround to be working with skill, which I will talk about later. All the drawings and design that you do in Morfolio Trace can be printed as a PDF. And because it's drawn to scale, it's very easy to select any paper size that you want it to be on and select the scale that you want to print the drawings to. And this is very useful for someone that can essentially start a drawing entirely in the app and export it to PDF as construction drawings without ever needing a computer. Now I can imagine there are some people that will fit into this bucket. Everything I just told you, I consider as the highlight of this app and the primary reason why I use it because it cannot be found anywhere else. Now there are of course, other features that are noteworthy to mention, like the perspective tool or the ability to import your SketchUp model, but they're just not as important to me. And since this is just my opinion and not a review, it's not going to be the most objective one. Now, before you go and subscribe to the app, 
do want to mention a few weaknesses because there are definitely some areas that are lacking in this app. This app is definitely a very competent platform for practicing architects who finds reading, annotating, redlining to be more important than maybe producing provocative drawings. Now, it's definitely possible to be producing beautiful sketches in the app, but there are definitely features that are not as good or just completely missing. For example, it's currently lacking any tools that can adjust for colors and it doesn't have any adjustments for hues, saturation, or curves like you would have in Procreate. It also doesn't have a complete set of blending modes, which are important to me as an artist. And lastly, none of the default pens and brush settings can be customized, and there are very few of them in general. These are just a few negatives that cannot convert someone like myself to fully jump on board with Morfolio Trace yet. Okay, enough with Morfolio Trace. Let's actually spend some time talking about Procreate. Now, Procreate compared to Morfolio Trace is much more intuitive to use. I would say for someone starting at ground zero that you'll have a much easier time navigating around the interface. You can figure out most things without needing to read a manual. In fact, the interface and the suite of tools is really similar to Photoshop in some ways. And where Morfolio Trace is lacking in these areas, Procreate really excels with their complete suite of customizable brushes and settings that it will imitate any kind of artistic medias. Additionally, it also has a very good adjustment for tweaking hues, saturations, curves, colors, which are very easy to use. And this is really important to an illustrator or a digital artist who depends on these finer adjustments in order to produce beautiful illustrations. Now I can go on and on and talk about how robust a feature and tool set Procreate has over Morfolio Trace in the drawing department, but I think you get this idea very quickly. Now, because Procreate isn't made specifically for architects and interior designers, in fact, I think it's made more towards digital artists and animators who wants to move from a traditional Wacom tablet tethered to a computer into a device that they can take anywhere with them. It just happens to be that architects and interior designers can really benefit from a untethered environment as well. And in fact, in the past five years, I was able to move away from the traditional tools onto the iPad for all my design work and presentation work without needing access to all the computer peripherals that I need at an office. But Procreate isn't all perfect either because of the broad range of people that's trying to serve. It doesn't have any specific features for the AEC industry like architects and interior designers. So for example, it doesn't have the ability to draw to scale or to read a drawing in scale or to annotate a drawing that easily. Now, there are other ways around it, which I have developed myself, but it's not native feature to the application. So that's the primary downside of using Procreate, in my opinion. So to sum all this up, which one should you pick? And to make it easy for you, if you don't want to do any thinking, pick Morfolio Trace. If your primary objective is to use it as an app to read the PDF, annotate and redline with the ability to produce some technical drawings. On the other hand, choose Procreate if you are someone who loves to illustrate, produce provocative renderings, compelling drawings and sketches with a robust suite of drawing tools. And if you are frustrated with now you have to learn both, there is another way. I have developed a suite of digital templates and guides which will make your transition to architectural workflow much easier if you only want to stick with Procreate and you can find these tools in the description below. Until someday, there is a clear all-in-one solution that will meet all my needs, I'm going to be using both. And until then, I have full confidence that both of these apps will do great in their near future to their prospective users. So I hope this video is helpful if you are just beginning your digital drawing journey and you're having a hard time deciding which app is right for you. I understand this isn't a very comprehensive review and comparison. So if you would like to learn and know more about either of these apps, just let me know in the comments below. See you next time.